Happy Saturday. So I wasn't sure I was going to do any daily vlogging this week, but I have got a fair bit of sewing that I want to get done. I have a few things I want to do this weekend, so I thought I'd just bring you to one. film my June sewing plans video, but I can't find one of my materials anywhere and it's really annoying because I need it. And I just I just don't know where it would be. So it's a um, white stretchy knit that Joy gave me for my birthday last year and I want to use it to make a briar um, t-shirt which is the Sew My Style pattern for this month but I can't find it anywhere and I'm just trying to think where it would even be. It was sort of, it was in with these but I don't know where it is and I've got three tubs of fabric in the shed and I've gone through all of them and it's not in there doesn't seem to be in here. What's that? No. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to film that and then I'm going to cut out my patterns for this month because I like to kind of do that in advance so that I just, I have everything ready to go. And then I'm going to keep working on some of my outstanding makes because one of my goals which you will have seen in the video that went up on Sunday. Um, one of my goals this month is to try and finish off a lot of my works in progress. So yeah, that's a plan anyway. So for now, I'm just gonna go and see if I can find this fabric because I have no idea where it would be. Um, and yeah, I'll check back in with you after I film my video. So it's a little bit later on. I've just finished filming and editing my video for tomorrow. Um, I'm doing it in bed as opposed to in my craft room because I can't be bothered dealing with Bailey um, being in there. When Kenneth's not home, um, I have to, like, have the door open to the craft room, which is where we also have Opal, our rainbow lorikeet, and Bailey doesn't, like, they get along sometimes, but most of the time they just, like, Bailey just tries to jump at him, and he, then he squawks, and it all gets a bit crazy. Um, so... Yeah, if Kenneth's not home, I have to have the door open because otherwise Bailey goes crazy um, and then it's just a complete nightmare. So I've decided to just wait until he gets home and then I'll move myself in there to do some sewing. But for now, I'm just editing on our bed, which is not like a bad thing. It's really nice in here, but it's just not like great for posture and, you know, all that sort of jazz. Um, Bailey is so cute. She's sleeping on a bit of material. I'll show you. She's fallen asleep on my material that I had laid out to take some photos of and that um so cute so she's going to be my um promotional image for the video this week so if you want to see what I did for it you can head on over to my Instagram or to my last video um so yeah I'm just going through some emails and stuff now and then also editing um the vlog <laughs> And then I also need to write the blog post for that as well and also do an email. So yeah, just a bit of admin and stuff. And then hopefully later on I'll be able to get some sewing done. So yes. Anyway, hope you're having a really lovely weekend. Hi everyone. Um, it's a little bit later on and I'm just doing some cutting out and organising of my sewing bits and pieces for this month. Um, I was literally going to do about 50 million things before I had started cutting this stuff out, but then nothing was working. Um, so you can see on my mannequin, I have my McCall's, um, M7472, I'm pretty sure it is. But I need to cut out, I forgot when I was tracing off all of the pieces, I forgot to cut out the button bands. So I need to find where I've stored the rest of the material so that I can cut that out. And I don't know where that is at the minute, so... Can't do that tonight. I need to unpick that Minetta and I just can't be bothered doing that tonight. So I'm not going to do that. I actually don't have the briar pattern yet. For some reason it wasn't sent to me. So I need to wait for Alex to send that to me so I can't cut that out. So now I am cutting out my Astoria sweater. I do have my last pattern test to complete but I just don't have the like patience to do buttonholes and stuff tonight. So... I thought I'd just do something a little bit easier tonight just so I've done something and then tomorrow I'm planning on having a much bigger sewing day. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just cutting out my Astoria out of this gorgeous um, mustard knit and I'm really excited to see how this has turned out. Um, I'm not going to add any length when I've decided. 
so I'm not sure if that's the right move or not. But anyway, we'll see how this turns out. So I have nearly finished my Astoria. I thought I might as well just sew it since I've cut it all out. Um, it is such a quick make, honestly. I'd forgotten how quick this is to sew. Um, I've just sewn this all on my sewing machine because I'm way more confident on that. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't hemmed the sleeves. I've just turned them under and I haven't done the neckband yet because I want to go back to Amanda's tutorial to see exactly what she said about changing the width and stuff. So once I do that, um, I'll finish that off. But I'm really happy with how it's turned out, although I'm sort of... Not 100% sure about the spots now. I'm not sure if it's a little bit too spotty maybe for a top. I'm not sure. Anyway, I think it is quite cute. I just need to pair it with not my um, Megan Nielsen Virginia leggings. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it at that for tonight. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm hopefully going to spotlight tomorrow. So I'll bring you along with Someday. me. Someday. Um, so I'm just about to go and finish off my Astoria so that I can wear it today. Poochie Pooch is just... Having a bit of a lie down, um, Kenneth took her to the park this morning and she ran around with about three other border collies, so she's a little bit sleepy. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go and finish that off um, so that that one's done. And then I am going to hem and finish the sleeves and add the buttons to my shirt, which you will have seen go up on Monday um, or Tuesday. It's really hard because like in Australia, we're sort of before everybody else. So even though it's the fifth here, it's not quite the fifth like in Europe and stuff. So anyway, um, it'll probably be out Monday or Tuesday. And um, yeah, so I need to finish that. And then I think I'll do some stuff for Little Miss Serene. I also wouldn't mind doing some house stuff like washing the windows and a few other boring things like that. But yeah, I really just want to get the Astoria done my pattern test done like fully so I can take photos of that today um, although it's not gonna fit me anyway um, I'll talk about it a little bit more in my blog post but I didn't realize that there were seam allowances in there and no seam allowances included um, the instructions were the bit where it talked about all of that sort of stuff was not in English and I couldn't translate it because for some reason the PDF was locked and I couldn't um, the only way I could translate it was to type all of that wording into Google Translate and I wasn't going to do that. So I didn't really look through them very closely and um, yeah, so I didn't realise there was no seam allowance included. That's the first pattern I've ever had where seam allowance hasn't been included. I know that's quite common in European, like more European countries, but I've, I've never sewn a pattern that doesn't have seam allowances included. So I didn't really think... Um, anything of it but it's really tight around my boob area so it's fine like down the bottom and everything was just really tight across my boobs so um and it pulls a bit here so anyway I hopefully will get all of them done and then I will yeah have to write some blog posts and stuff this afternoon too so I'll check back in with you a little bit I later. have officially finished my Astoria I'm so excited um I didn't really film any of the end of that because I was too busy concentrating on what Amanda was saying um I totally credit Amanda for this turning out so well for a number of reasons one her neckband tutorial is amazing I can't wait to show you what my neckband looks like and number two, she also helped me a, a while ago um, when I made my first Manetta about the twin needling, um, just making it a longer length. So yeah, I'm so happy with it. I'm just pressing it now and then I'll put it on once I've got all my other clothes on. So I'm wearing my Astoria now. How gorgeous is that neckline? Oh my God. And the length is pretty well perfect actually. It's like cropped without being too cropped. Um, I have on my basic pocket skirt from Calife and the fact that it covers up the waistband I'm actually quite happy with um, it just fits so lovely it has oh, I'll just take this off my long sleeves and I just think it's really really cute oh my god my neckline is just a mate like it does stick out a little bit but oh my god I don't really care um, yeah so I'm so happy with how it came out and how's how I nearly pat like it's sort of semi pattern match there <laughs> totally not um deliberate uh so yeah i'll have more photos of this and a review up on the blog next week so make sure you keep an eye out for that one um 
yeah so i'm off to spotlight now and i think i might also go to the shoe shed and just look for some boots um i love these boots for um when it's really cold and stuff but i'd love some just smaller like ankle boots so anyway i'll see you a bit later So that was a little bit bad. I went to Spotlight and ended up getting quite a few little bits of fabric, which I thought I'd show you now um, instead of doing like a separate video on the haul because I feel like that it just gets all a bit the same and it has some other video ideas this month anyway. So um, I'm just going to show you really quickly what I got and run through what I'm going to use it for. Like I've said before, I don't tend to buy a lot of stuff unless I know, like I buy a lot of fabric, but I usually know in my head what I want to do with it. Um, that may change, but I don't really like buying fabric unless I know what I'm going to do with it. Because otherwise, it just sits there, then you forget about it and yeah. So anyway, let's do a quick little So haul. the first thing I did when I got to Spotlight was go and get the things that I actually went there for, which were some jump rings and some new knitting needles. And then I went to the remnant um, bin because I always have so much luck in there. Um, and I took a little clip, um, which I'll insert here or have inserted before, um, just before this, which shows you what our remnant bin looks like. And I got a few bits and pieces from there today. So, um... The first thing I got was this, which they called on the receipt a double ponty, I think. Um, but it's a really gorgeous cream colour and I'm going to make another Astoria because I love this one so much and they're so easy. Um, it's just this really gorgeous cream colour. So I think it's just, you know, a really um, neutral piece to add to my wardrobe. Um, so I think I paid $4 for that one, which is very good. Um, and I also got... Um, some of this navy can't remember what they said it was on the receipt um, but I thought that was really cute and again I think I'll make another story but this one will be more snuggly so when it gets a bit colder um, this was $2.80 for 70 centimeters so that was pretty good <laughs> who would have thought you could get a jumper for $2.80 um, so the next little bit I picked up, I just always have to pick up some florals, guys. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a bit of a thing now. Um, so this is a cotton sateen, and I think this was $1.40 or something. It's so gorgeous. Um, this little floral print. And there's 60 centimeters there, so I should be able to get, um, like a top or a skirt out of that. Um, I also picked up, um, a couple of these. So this one is in the khaki green. So it's like a linen suiting type thing. So that was 80 centimetres for $1.20. And also this one in the navy as well. So I think there's 70 centimetres of that as well. It's about the same price. Um, so just to make some little tops, I think, um, just to, you know, layer over things with. Um, because they're navy and khaki, they're colours that I wear a lot. So um, I'm really happy with those. And then the last thing I got from the remnant bin was this. They called it a, 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 contour knit. I've never heard of a contour knit before. Essentially, it's a little bit like a scuba, but much thinner. Um, and so there was just over a metre of this. Um, so I think I'm going to make a briar out of it because I think that's a really cute colour to have in a top. Um, and then, yeah, I'm not sure what else I'll do with it, depending on how much I have left over. Um, but yeah, I thought that would make a really cute briar top. And then I thought I'd just go and have a look at the remnant table, the remnant table, the clearance table. Just to, I just need to go let Bailey out. She's been inside the whole time I've been away. Hey, hey, pooch. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd go and look at the clearance table and they had 50% off when you buy three meters or more, which is like a really amazing sale. Um, and yeah, so I rang Joy because I knew she'd want to see a couple of the things. So we got a few things. So some of these are going to be, well, all of them are between us. So I'll, sh I'll explain it anyway. Um, but yeah, so I know three meters sounds a lot, but by the time you do get a top out of it and stuff, like, you know, you've sort of used a meter and a half already. So, um, anyway, the first thing we got was this gorgeous um, animal print jersey which is actually going to be used for 
some baby clothes for little Miss Lorraine, so probably some leggings and that. Um, it feels so soft and we needed a few more boy things. Um, it's always really easy to find girl fabrics and obviously we're really attracted to the girl fabrics because we're girls. Um, but yeah, we wanted to add a few more boy things. So this one was really gorgeous. I love this. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, it's navy with the white animals on there. See, I love that. So that is Joy's. Um, so she will pay for that one. And the next two we're going halves in. There wasn't quite three metres of that. I think it was just over one and a half. Um, but they gave it to me 50% off anyway. Um, so yeah, so this one I'm really excited about. This is um, a really gorgeous textured knit. It has a proper name. I think it's like a jacquard. So I think three metres would have usually cost me $60. And it cost me $24. So um, and I'm only going to keep a metre and a half. And Joy's going to have a metre and a half. So that's... Yeah, um, $12 each, so that's really cheap. Um, so I would really like to make a briar out of this. I actually wanted to make a briar out of something like this, but didn't want to buy a new fabric. And I don't know that in my video on Sunday, I said that I didn't need to buy any more fabric, but obviously I'm officially a fabric addict now. So anyway, um, so yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love the colour. Um, I think it will go really nicely with denim or black or... Yeah, anything like that. So I think I'm going to make a briar. I think Joy might be possibly making some baby leggings out of this, which will be really cute. Um, so yeah, I really love this one. And lastly is um, we got this one. So again, Joy and I are going halves in these. So it's a really gorgeous, um, gorgeous jersey. So it kind of feels a little bit like a scuba, but it's not as thick as a scuba. Um, I just love the colours and I love the pattern. So this is probably the only one I'm not like a hundred, a hundred percent sure what I'm making. I think I'll make a top out of it. Um, but I'm not sure which one. Maybe just like an Agnes or something. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really love this one. Um, and yeah, this is again, uh, three metres for eight dollars a metre. So yeah, twelve dollars each for this one so yeah another really good bargain so i am really happy with all the stuff i got and i've definitely used it i might even cut out one of the other astorias today um but yeah once i've washed it obviously i'm gonna wash it now and hope that i can i think i might just stick them in the dryer um so yeah anyway that was my haul and i know that i said i wasn't gonna buy any more so fabric but... i am cutting out another astoria with the cream fabric that i purchased today um they're just such a quick make so <clears throat> i just yeah really want to do something a little bit easy on a Sunday night so just cutting that out now Wednesday and I realized that the last footage that you will have seen in this vlog was from Sunday um, But I just haven't been in the mood to sew this week um, Sometimes I just have these like little off weeks, especially if I've had a few weeks of like really crazy sewing um, So I decided just to go with that feeling and just not pressure myself to sew um, So I've been doing some knitting instead and just some like chilling out and doing some admin type stuff So um, that's what I'm doing now so I thought I'd just check in and end the vlog now. Um, I feel like there's been some good content this week and I hope that you have enjoyed watching. Um, I will see you on Sunday back here for my main video which will be um, a little look back at my Me Made May which is the first one that I've ever done. So I've definitely learned some stuff so I'm going to talk you guys through that on Sunday. Um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye!